Hello and welcome to a very Explosion Network Christmas, a podcast dedicated to the merriest of holidays, the festive season with films about Santa, snow and being left home alone, time of year where we all come together to argue if Kiss Kiss Bang Bang is a Christmas movie. I'm your host, Asher Hubley, and helping me grow my heart three sizes of Christmas cheer is Dylan Blight. Yes, it is 100% added to the list. All right, good to know. So this week we start our campaign of watching the Santa Claus's TV series on Disney Plus. Let's just jump straight into it. So, first up, we've got a double episode premiere. We've got episode, chapter one, Good to Ho, directed by Jason Weiner, written by Jack Burdett. So, Calvin struggles to keep up with the demands of being Santa Claus. And chapter two, The Successors Clause, directed by Jason Weiner, and written by Cat, by Katie Col- Colleton and Katie O'Brien. Scott Calvin struggles to keep up with the demands of being Santa Claus. Dylan, what did you think of the first two episodes of The Santa Clauses? I liked it. I feel like it's in tone with the movies. Like, obviously, we just come off watching them, so mm. we should have as much as an idea what the... Rather than, like, a nostalgic view of what the movies are, I feel like these are definitely in tone with the yeah. sort of silly and the almost b grady sort of... Like, I don't feel like it's... It didn't come out and be like, oh, we're trying to reinvent the wheel here. Like, every character feels like it's still part of the, the same silly universe like his kid buddy definitely like the writing for that kid <laughs> the, the whole i VR was very concerned thing. that they kept calling him cal i'm like what do they what do the- to buddy did they-, they change his name into calvin klein what yeah they called him cal yeah but they never they never call him buddy no so i don't know if they changed his name but no so they I call just- his name's still buddy but they call him cal because obviously he's named after his grandfather. So Cal, because right, he's, yeah, his Calvin, surname yeah, is Calvin. Yeah, 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 that makes sense. Okay. But it, um, I didn't realize that till the end of the episode. I was like, is this another son? Did they lose no. the first baby? That would be pretty <laughs> messed up. Maybe, maybe he grew up, you know? I don't know. It's been 29 years, but they only look like in the early teens. How long was he yeah. sand before he had kids? It seemed like it was much quicker, you know? Okay. That's um, a lot of questions. I mean... There's other, there's, I don't know, just, yeah, overall thoughts, I enjoyed it <laughs> for what, it's definitely, it's what I wanted. It's what I expected. Uh, nothing more, I feel. Like, I didn't come into this expecting it to be, oh, I'm just going to shortlist onto my top 10 TV of the show. Like, we better push the rankings, actually. Like, <laughs> you know, so I feel like this is exactly what I thought it would be, and, that, and that's totally fine. So, yeah, I'm enjoying it. Yeah, I'm enjoying it as well. It is definitely at the, it's definitely more towards the, two and three end of the the trilogy scale it you always know, was gonna be like it was it's, it's definitely more campy and like silly and over the top um whether it's santa having his elf partner shoot a biscuit out of a bazooka so he can catch it in midair i don't know if all that cgi reindeer cgi slay cgi was super necessary um yeah I'm enjoying it. It's, there's a lot of... They're bringing up a lot of interesting ideas, stuff that we've talked about. Yeah, that's, uh, <laughs> I was going to say, they bring up nearly everything that we've talked about, which um, I'm loving, so... Which is, you know, the history of the Santa Clauses and, like, um, you know, uh, Betty revealing that, like, they don't talk about it because, you know, Santa is a continuous thing. Um, <laughs> which makes sense, I feel. Like, as which sad makes as sense, that is, but also it sounds sad. mean, but it makes sense, yeah. But I love the part where she's like, it's like she, like Carol finally has a thing with uh, Epiphany where she's like, wait, when you came here after you became Santa, was there another Mrs. Claus? I was like, fuck, the show's going meta. This is like the Matrix, <laughs> the <laughs> Matrix, um, fucking, what's the, uh, what the fuck? Resurrections, but with Santa Claus. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, yeah. Uh, I mean, even later, they kind of call back to the, him first being there and how all the elves weren't really sad Do you know yeah that, that, that does other santa it's, another, been it's another very good point yeah it's another very good you know, point so he's very happy but I, did that la- I actually did let out a little chuckle once he gives his news and everyone starts crying and he's just like i can't remember exactly he's, he's like, like yes, yes i'm loved or whatever i'm mad <laughs> 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 i was like yeah 
Yeah. A, I, I feel like that's some other thing. Like, you could, like, just quick comment. Tim Allen just slips in and out of this role seamlessly, like, over the years. Like, you wouldn't think he's yeah. Mr. B. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it'd be interesting because obviously we're going to see him without makeup, but, you know, obviously there is still mm. a fair bit of prosthetics on him, I guess, to keep him, you know, sanitary, even though he is losing weight. Um, I guess the interesting thing about this series is that the main crux of why he's kind of wanting to retire and thinks he needs to is Christmas spirit is continuing to diminish um, because people stop believing in Santa because of fucking Amazon. Everybody's getting their presents from <laughs> Amazon. <laughs> they don't need Santa. So uh, there's less people on the list every single year, um, which is an interesting concept to like build a Christmas TV series around, especially one about Santa. It's like, you could further explain why Santa can get around the world so around him one night. There's not as many people on the list. Very yeah. Uh, people aren't asking Santa for presents because they just put it on the Amazon wish list. It makes perfect sense. It does. Um, don't know why the kids have Amazon wish list, but anyway, it's the parents. They don't tell the kids about Santa anymore because they're like, no, it's all Amazon. I want credit. Yeah. I don't want some. Ho oh, ho ho! Have you heard of Jeff Bezos? Kids? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Um Yeah, I think obviously, obviously we've got the we've got two main elves introduced. Uh we got Noel, the uh mm-hmm. Santa's old buddy, his, his best friend, friend, uh who joins him on his trips, apparently because he can't go around any alone anymore. He's been doing it for twenty five years, you know. He needs to have That's a partner. Fair. Um Good board. Uh, but then you've also got Betty, who was the new head off, I guess, you know. Finally, yeah. old what's-his-face got kicked out of the job because he was bad at it. You really hate <laughs> what that dude. I mean, oh, he's oh, nothing oh. but trouble. You know what I mean? True. It's funny because she doesn't even, like, shout out to him. When when she pulls out the crystal light bulb thing Bernard. in episode two, yeah, she's like, oh, Bernard, Bernard left this or yes, whatever. She, she, knows she completely writes describe. over. Yeah, she. <laughs> they don't even reference old mate, whatever his name was. <laughs> oh mate, what's his name? Uh yeah, that's one. Curtis, that's it. Yeah, Curtis. Curtis. They don't even mention Curtis. No. How by the way, talking about like references, just quickly, how do you feel about the how do you feel about the the two times we've done these little uh you know uh, flashback sequence clip things? Considering yeah. we just watched all the films, do you think they're like helpful? They're good. Uh they've done a solid restoration on them, I think. <laughs> they they don't look like they're just they've just pulled them from the movies. They've, like, up them a little bit. Or at least oh, it no, looks better look than same. it was. I look the same for me. It's <laughs> completely ours. I don't know. What was, they look I, he, was, felt, he was watching maybe a fucking SD version. Did, did a bit of coloration or something, I don't know. Maybe. But yeah, what do you think of Noel and Betty? Who yeah, like happen to be in a relationship as well. <laughs> yeah, I like that whole thing where they're bickering and he's like, what's he, what's he say? Honey bun. And she's like, you're not allowed to call me. At home, I'm honey bun. At here, I'm your boss. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, like, I like this little dino. But no, I think um, that's the thing with these elves. I can never tell. Like, how old are these people? Like, because. Centuries. The was like a teenager when, it, like, I swear, like as an actor, right? So that's a I would think I find quite funny. Are these like 10 year olds talking about being in relationships? Like, what's the hell? <laughs> that's yeah. a. Oh, um, the girl who plays. um. No, she must be like fucking a teenager, I guess, maybe like 14, 15 or something. Who? But the girl is, uh, whatever her name is. What's the girl's? The character? Betty. Betty. She, um, she was, uh, Flora in Floris and Flora and Ulysses. Yeah. So that, Matilda Lawler, who was, yeah, Flora and Ulysses. Uh, and she was recently in the, uh, the Station Eleven miniseries. Yeah. So she's like, mate, I think, I'm, I don't know how old she's, but I'm assuming she's like 14, 15. But it's just funny to me that you've got she these, She was born like, in 2008. So she's 14. I don't. What's mass? Is she 14? Yep. Fuck, I'm a good guess. That's good. That's fucking. I'm, that, I'm that's concerning guess. that you're able to so quickly discern how old this young girl was. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just saying. Like, I'm, just, 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 I'm just good at guessing stuff like that, you know? Um, I, I don't know how to respond to that. Um, the, <laughs> but yeah, it's just funny to me. You've got like these, uh, these kids or whatever just talking about, you know, like honey bunny and all this sort of stuff. Yeah. Um, I don't know why, but the, I like them. I like them both. I, I think they're quite charming. We'll break the characters. I, I, I like how they play for another. I mean, there's no Bernard, but yeah. It's, I, Not everybody yeah, can be Bernard. 
No. Uh, yeah, I'm really enjoying it. Like, Betty has his shit under control, you know? Yeah. There's no major disasters. So nobody's like completely ruined Christmas. I mean, sure, Christmas is kind of slowly, di- Christmas period is slowly diminished over her watch, I guess, but. Uh, I like when Noel's like, blame her. why can't we just clone him? And she's like, that worked out so well last time, didn't it? <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, no, what was the other. What? Two Santas? What are we, the yeah. Vatican? <laughs> yeah. All these little throwback references. Uh, yeah. I mean, there's moments that are, like, super, like, cringy, like them doing the, the song. Uh, oh, what, what was the song that we're playing? Uh, no, I can't remember. But, like, a re- there was their version. There was a remix or something. Like, there was yeah. a remix. Yeah, they're singing about fucking yeah. whatever. It's fine. I never hated it. Love it. It's fine. Whatever. I the only thing I didn't like so far is that weird, naughty, naughty nice scene. Yeah, I thought it was, like, super, you know, Obviously, we know, like, you know. I, I, I think she, the thing is, I, I, I think like that it's correct, right? That's the, that's the, the the thing. But I, I wasn't sure if the show is actually making fun of it or like I, I just I, like tonally, I wasn't sure what the the go was. I wasn't sure what the like, the point but, was, especially so, with this character. Eden, so there is no really, naughty and no nor- nice list anymore. Just everybody gets a present. Yeah, I don't know about that. <laughs> but the, the 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 ranking, the stuff you're saying, made sense to me. Where it's like you know. Oh, this kid's disruptive in class. And then he's like, naughty list. And she's, you know, like, that's a sign of ADHD. Like, I think that all actually makes sense. I was like, that is actually a good point. That's like, Well, yeah, that's a good point. And then she's like, oh, this other kid's throwing a temp tantrum. Does that mean she's on the list? Well, yeah, yeah if you're throwing know. a temp tantrum. It's unnecessary. Yeah. I feel like there's got to be a bit more getting to the minutiae. I, you know, I, think, I think they're like, oh, we need to get more people on these lists. That's what the real Possibly. problem is. Not enough kids on these lists. Yeah. Do I think there shouldn't be a naughty list? No, there should definitely be a naughty list. There's fucking naughty kids out there. Come on. Yeah. Am I insane? Yeah. Not everybody should get a present. Some people need some No. Time. Fuck them kids. <laughs> Fuck them kids. <laughs> uh, speaking of kids, what do we think of Buddy slash Calvin and uh, Sandra? Buddy uh, obsessed with VR. Sandra obsessed VR. with animals. I like Sandra. I think she's the one who, the character who's showed the most personality so far, an actual real human being, whereas Buddy slash Cal is just a dweeb. But <laughs> <laughs> like, I feel like we're just going to get a little bit more of both of them when we get, I assume, from the next episode going forth, when they go back down to and try well, to live their normal lives well, and stuff. But yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's interesting that, you know, they've been pining for this real life, I guess. Uh, mm. going into the snow globe room, which is completely, completely redecorated. Uh, and apparently now they can see people all over the world in mm. these snow globes. Um, and apparently this entire time, um, uh, Cal has been doing like life simulator in VR. Yep. <laughs> he just mowed the lawn and wants to go to the post office. It's so crazy. Um, yeah, I mean, it's interesting. Like, I love the, the line Betty says, oh, we've done an extensive study of kids who get raised here on the North Pole. Yeah. They all turn about a bit weird. Yeah. How many have had? Go, well, how, how many are raised here? Including, including Buddy, uh, Cal, and uh, what's the name of that one? Sandra. Fuck, whatever. Sandra. Including them? Yeah. Two. <laughs> <laughs> Which raises another interesting question. <laughs> no one ever had kids before. Yeah. Yeah. None of the other Santas ever, you know, yeah, you know, had a she, good time she, with this. She, she Mrs. never Claus. says how many misses. She never says how many misses calls there is, but it's definitely implied that there's been previous misses causes. Um, yeah. like that. I don't think like that's up for debate. But she does say no kids because mm. then she wanders off and says she's had too much cider. And I just want to clarify, she took like one sip. So <laughs> yeah, they need to you know, like get some more cider into her so they can find out more secrets. Or I need to find out what the fuck they're making in the cider because that shit's strong. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's, it, yeah. That just means that, you know, no Santa's had sex with Mrs. Claus's. Or well, unprotected sex. You know? Just want to clarify. <laughs> just to clarify. <laughs> or none lasted nine months. You know what I mean? Yeah. They all died very quickly. I mean, <laughs> they're all very I mean, dark. Like messed up that's the, truths. Maybe that's the dark secret of all it. they yeah. all they just very old when they get become Santa first, you know? No young Santa's like Scott was. 
Yeah. I think we get to see a flashback scene here where they tie into the first movie where Mrs. Claus is like fucking thrown out a garbage chute somewhere or some shit like that. <laughs> you know, like. Uh, yeah, maybe there's some sequels with Santa's past. Mm-hmm. That's what I would Also, think. shout out to the new card before I forget. Hmm? You know, they, they, they show the card, the magic card that he has to give to a new Santa and everything. Oh, I like how this time he's updated it and it's clearly got. No, no, Santa I don't Claus. think that was a new card. That was the card that they pulled out of the cupcake, which was breaking in case of emergency. So, so it was his oh own no, card. I guess it was a new card that they would give to yeah. the new Santa. They would give to a new one, but he's done his own card and he's made it very clear to have separate uh, paragraphs or lines that clearly say this is the Santa Claus, this is the Mrs. Claus rule, and then so you've this got escape the, clause. Uh, the escape clause. And I don't know, I I don't know how he would have noticed back. the successes clause. Yeah, if he was I, I kind of want to go back and press pause and see if it just is, uh, ignore this shit. But <laughs> yeah, sure, it's in super fine print, but at least it's a little bit more yeah. obvious. Yeah, that's a plus. Um. Yeah, so I guess, you know, we've got... Um, I mean, you can talk about got, the kids a little bit more. I guess you do get that scene with Charlie. We do get the scene with... Well, it seems like Charlie is being kind of tinted at being the next Santa Claus. Mm. Even though he doesn't want to be Santa Claus. You know, because clearly he tells... He knows that the girl wants braces. He's having dreams about being Santa. But yeah, it's not what he envisions himself to want. Did you say no? I thought... No, it was Buddy who was having dreams about seeing him. Yeah, it's Buddy. Yeah. No, I said Ca- I said Charlie. Oh, okay. Well, then, yeah, obviously, Charlie. <laughs> when uh, Scott's like, hey, I'll retire. Charlie, you come be Santa Claus. Uh, mm. And Charlie's like, nah, I got kids. I've seen, I've met your kids. I don't want to <laughs> raise my kids in the North Pole. Which is a super harsh thing to say. <laughs> mm-hmm. um, also, he has not told his wife that. His his wife, who he's had children with, who are like several years old. Yep. Two kids who look somewhere between five to eight. Yes, um, I'm very good at ages. I know yeah, I'm very age. good at ch- peeing children's ages. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, yeah, he knows. He has not told his wife what you know what Scott does. Thinks he's not a shrimp farmer. Shrimp, not shrimp farmer. Yeah, not, not a shrimp. She, farmer. And she does not want to be trolling. Shrimp in Greenland. That was a good joke because she starts freaking out first, and you think she's really <laughs> freaking out about going to North Pole, but she's like, "I want to be a fucking shrimp farmer wife. <laughs> <laughs> have a career. Yeah, I have a career here. Yeah, where did they live originally? Because it um, definitely wasn't Florida. It was like New York, right? Yeah, could be like New yeah, Jersey New or something. Yeah, well, somewhere Suburbs, like maybe New yeah. Jersey, but like he li- he worked in New York or whatever. Yeah, so I think it was it was like that sort of thing. Yeah, so, you know, interesting. It was nice to see Charlie again. All grown up. Yeah. Uh, The same actor and everything. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, it's not going to be Charlie. But, you know who it looks like it will be, at least briefly? Cal Penn's character. Uh, Simon Chosky, a game inventor, product developer, and single father who has aspirations of becoming the next Jeff Bezos. What do we think of Cal Penn? I feel like this is like a, the thing with this character is at first, you're sh- he's the reason I feel like he just will be the new Santa Claus is, and the reason people you're, you're supposed to. No, <laughs> it's because he has the same thing as Scott Hel- Calvin, where, you know, like he's a, he's a deep down, he's a good dude, but, and you can see that with his relationship with his daughter, but obviously it's his obsession with his work that's his sort of getting ambitions. in the way, but. His, yeah, his ambition and whatever else. So he has this stuff happening, but I, yeah, I, I feel like when he gets offered the Santa Claus job and if he does become Santa, I feel like he's going to fuck up at first, but I feel like the free line is going to be him like realizing to do things better or, or, or something like that. I can see happening because, yeah, his kid will help him out much, much like uh, happened in the first film to a degree, I guess. Yeah, I mean, maybe, or if you go the dark route of like he becomes, you know, Obsessed with power and, you know. Yeah. Uh, wants to use, well, he's, his plan, his company is called Everything Now, which I'm just going to say, terrible name for a company, because you're way over-promising. Why would you call yourself Everything Now? There's absolutely no way you can deliver on that without magic. Um, 
But yeah, really, you know, interesting. He's like obviously fucked up a bunch. Uh, but you know, he has two encounters with Santa. Obviously, here's Santa, like on his roof. That first scene. Um, Lightning in the first episode, and yeah. he's got a panic room, which he seems to be using quite often. Um, What's he say? He says marauders. <laughs> yeah, marauders. I like what the fuck. <laughs> yeah. Doesn't yeah. believe in Santa Claus, but marauders. Are <laughs> marauders who suddenly <laughs> pop up on his roof seems likely. Uh, but then he does see Santa like using his wormhole after it. After he's uh, made his assistant go deaf. Yeah, well, but he's manager zaps it. No, it was his assistant, or well, like intern yeah. or something. Zap yeah. himself to like short out the uh, news crew's equipment. Yeah, because he was giving a terrible interview. <laughs> it was quite funny though on Christmas Eve. Yeah, uh, I like how he's the thing is like you promise a thing by Christmas. How <laughs> well we say Christmas, Christmas, but we say this Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you said that the guy could go over well. <laughs> like, it was funny. Yeah. So then, you know, at the end of the episode, we have uh, what is the other elf's name? Uh, uh it's uh, Edie. I want to e- say e- Edie. Yeah, e- e- Edie. Yeah. Who seems a little bit more of a troublemaker? Uh, El- elves are troublemakers. I say that now. Yeah, so she's elf. stolen El- some of El- old. Elves got an elf, Ash. Elves got an elf. Elves have got a god of elf. Uh, she brought elf. some of the Sandman yeah. juice and like has put Sandman sand and put them to sleep, yeah. so he can take them to. Which I, I want to say something, right? So in this episode that we see this Sandman type sprinkly stuff in two forms, mm. she she blows some in someone's face. Previous to this, in another episode, I think in the first episode, I saw someone throw that shit up out of their mouth. So now I'm wondering. No, I think it. I think that was just glitter. Just saying, it looks very much the same to me. It's trying to be wonder is I the mean, sleepy glitter and dust sand that the elves until- blow in your face actually elf vomit? I'm sure we'll find out over there. Yeah, the show uh, seems to be so far answering all my big questions. So, I mean, it raises a, but another question. Like Betty raises this: like, what happens if Christmas ends? What happens to elves whose sole purpose is to? Is Christmas? What happens to us? Do we go away? It's kind of yeah, very messed they up. They work like. with the gnomes, which the show they don't like gnomes. They don't like gnomes. <laughs> Hopefully, we get to see some gnomes. That's what you know. <laughs> a gnome versus elf fight. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Other like funny moments. Uh, Santa goes and visits Sarah, uh, who from the first film, uh, but she's all grown up now. Doesn't believe in Santa. Is a twenty-eight-year-old woman uh, who's what, living at home uh, and didn't even realize it was Christmas Eve. Very sad. <laughs> very unrelatable character. Yeah, very unrelatable. Uh, but you know, case I love Casey Wilson. She's very funny. So uh, that was a cool moment. A cool throwback to that little girl that we all remember from the first. Like how she's just like, she's like get your mum. <laughs> <laughs> Like, get, yeah. get, uh, get your uh, no. Get sorry if you just get your daughter. Uh, she'll she'll know who I am. How did you not forget? How did you forget? It's been twenty nine years. <laughs> Do you think? <laughs> um, and she got a. Sounds he crazy. gave her a Polly Pocket. You know, because, yeah, back again. Because her her mum threw out her Polly Pocket because she had a Polly Pocket po- potty toilet party. So that Polly Pocket potty party. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Also, her parents are going to be in for a shock when they come into that room and there is suddenly a chimney-shaped thing in the side of the wall that wasn't there. Yeah, I'm, I'm just, I'm just <laughs> hoping slash assuming that just the figures that sh- shit out and disappear. No, it just stays yeah. there forever now. It's kind of weird. Yes. What's her name again? Casey Wilson, was- the actress. No, the, no, the character. Sarah. I was trying to find her in the first movie. Be like, where's that kid at? Hmm. I can't see a Sarah in the credits. It's been annoying. Of the first film, anyway. I was going to be like, what happened? Why can't they bring the real kid back? Bring old original actors back. Don't they? Crazy. Uh, Yeah. Any other interesting tidbits from this film? Oh, the first couple episodes? Or threads that you want to touch on? Um, No crazy reindeer. 
Yeah. I thought you'd be happy. Like yeah, it wasn't bad. Or anything yeah. Like that. yeah. No mention of Chet at all. No. No mention of Chet. So it's been 29 Chet. years, no Dad. room for Chet as one of the main reindeer. Yeah. Which is good because I don't know what the lifespan of reindeer are, so they must be pretty healthy. Uh, also, shout out to his daughter who's like, hey, here's a list of all the people who were like caging up deer and calling them reindeer and so on. Yeah. I've I I also put gave a too. set of uh, bolt cutters. <laughs> bolt cutters, yeah. <laughs> shout outs. Very funny. Uh, yeah. Also, like the moment where. <laughs> He tries to, like, escape up the chimney during the argument, and but he doesn't have any magic. He just bangs his head. Yeah, <laughs> that was actually quite funny. <laughs> and she just calls him out. Did you just try and go up the chimney? It's like, yeah. And he's all uh, trying to make Santa wait montage. That was, that was kind of funny, to be honest. Yeah. Although, no. No to that candy smoothie. Whatever he's doing there. Yeah, that looked abs- I was I was waiting for the joke to be that he puts this all in it and then it's still disgusting, but he literally drinks it and it's like, ah. <laughs> like, it looked like it would be death. Yeah. He put two yeah. raw eggs in there. <laughs> yeah. Oh, the fact, my favorite bit, though, was just the fact that he's, like, laying there on the couch and then she bumps him or whatever. Mrs. Claus, like, bumps him or, or whatever else. And he moves, yeah. like, slightly. He's like, oh, now I have to start all over again. <laughs> it's like, what are you doing? You're just laying there. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Yeah. All right. Uh, yeah. So we'll be back again next week to discuss the next episode of The Santa Clauses. Uh, let us know what you thought of the first two episodes of The Santa Clauses by going to explosion.com slash Twitter, or you can jump into our Discord at explosion.com slash Discord. Leave us a review for a very Explosion Network Christmas by going to uh, going to Apple Podcasts or Podchaser. So leave us five stars. Anyone can leave five stars. Or just tell people about the show. And if you liked this episode, thought it was worth a dollar, head out of to our Kofi page at explosion.com slash supports. Thank you very much for listening. And until next time, remember, you can mess with a lot of things, but you can't mess with kids on Christmas. Christmas.